back then it was hard work, clean cut. You got to go out there and get record labels, the major labels to get on. Right then at that time, it was just, we were probably mm -hmm. the only ones that were really playing that hard of a type of rock. It's not, I wouldn't call it heavy metal, never was heavy metal. Jerry Riggs uh, was the lead singer and lead guitar. Jeremy Graff was the rhythm guitarist. David Ritterick was the bass player and backup vocals. And Steve Carlisle is the drummer and backup vocals. It was very exciting when Riggs was signed with Warner Brothers. When they got their album, it was awesome. You know, it, it validated everything that they had been working for. opening song in the movie, which is pretty cool, that's pretty important. So it's a great, excellent opportunity. But that's more famous for us than our album. At the Atlanta premiere of Heavy Metal, it was very exciting. Riggs had the opening song, and it was just, you know, a grin from ear to ear. Very exciting. <laughs> Forever and ever, their name is always going to be on that album, up there with and all the other great names. From Atlanta, Georgia, Reed! I put the reunion together for Marshall Francis Downing, my best friend from high school days, was dying of colon cancer. Had six months to live. We wanted to get together quick, make it a, just an event for him. He was a big part of Riggs at the time, and, and this was like the most special thing. I figured if there's one last thing I could do, he told me that he wasn't gonna go to chemotherapy and he's just gonna, he's given up basically. And so I figured if there was one thing I could do for my friend, the Riggs show would be the ultimate thing that we could do. You know, Dave's pretty much responsible for getting this whole thing together. Uh, they started ready or not and then stopped all of a sudden and everyone was like oh, did, did something go wrong and no but they just want to make a special announcement about it being a benefit for their friend Marshall Downing. Hey everybody! I just want to say this whole night is for Marshall Downing, man. We love you. All right, let's start. And he used to be uh, like a stage manager for Riggs back in time. He'd be with all our guitars and keep everything tuned and ready for us. It meant everything to Marshall, everything, because he was probably their biggest fan. He probably has more memorabilia for Riggs than anybody ever had. When I was with Raggedy Ann, it belonged to Hydra, the stage manager for Hydra, and he gave it to me when he got an anvil case, and I've uh, had it ever since. And all through the Riggs days, and all through the Raggedy Ann days, and I'm passing it on to Dave so he can take care of it. got together and had one practice of the night before and it was here in this room where we are right now. And, uh, and then got out the next night and played 20 something. We haven't played them in 25 years. It's like being let out of prison after 25 years. <clears throat> Step out into the sunlight and you're free. I mean, it was, uh, for me, it was just when, we, when I, when we crank up that first song, it was 25 years of things inside of you. You wanted to do it so bad. We all loved it so much. I'd been a fan of the album for years, but I'd never seen the band play. And then uh, a friend of mine called me and said, there's a Riggs reunion. And I said, no way. We'd heard the songs all these years and everything. Well, if I ever have a chance to do that again, I'm going to do it different and better. And so this was our chance. But I think being away from it for a real long time, it's kind of like absence makes the heart grow fonder sometimes, you know? All four played phenomenally. Everyone in that room just didn't know what 
they were in for. Think about tonight, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm having the best time. They're better than they were 35 years ago. 30 years ago. It's for Marshall, but we all benefited so much from this reunion as a band, you know, like we've discussed here all the 25 years and what we went through back in the old days and everything came back together. And it was a very special, magical, magical night. If it wasn't for Marshall, I don't know that they would have done a reunion. So I thank him wherever he is. I thank him for that.